Through the haze of smoking flares, more tractors joined the blockade of Paris. Here we saw dozens arriving to join a column that already contained many more tractors. They have brought this motorway to a standstill, normally a frenetic route into the nearby capital, now completely blocked. These farmers have driven their tractors more than 200 miles to get here to protest about rising costs, falling income and burdensome bureaucracy. Mathieu is a local grain farmer, angry with both his government and the red tape of the European Union. We're applying pressure on the government and President Macron and Europe. There is no longer any harmony. The UK left Europe and now there's talk of Ukraine joining. If we did a survey today in France, maybe the French would leave Europe. He says cheap imports from Ukraine have hit farmers' income and lowered food standards. We understand that Ukraine is at war and that it needs help, but we shouldn't keep accepting products that don't meet the norms. The farmers are settling in for a long wait. There is hot food and drink here and a sense of purpose. This sign proclaims tired but still determined. For years, French farmers said that nobody had listened to their complaints. And now, well, this is what direct action looks like. Stopping roads, blockading the capital and threatening to starve the people of Paris. Paris is feeling the strain. The city's vast fresh produce market in Rangis is protected by armoured vehicles and riot police. The French government announced a list of concessions and reassurances about enforcing controls on those imports from Ukraine. Notre agriculture is une force et notre fierté aussi. The Prime Minister told farmers that they are the strength and pride of the nation and that they have his unwavering support. France is not alone with farmers' protests now spreading across Europe. These in Italy and also in Belgium. Others are happening in Germany, the Netherlands and beyond. But in France, it is the image of Paris under siege that is so potent. An army of tractors is not easily ignored. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Paris.